Welcome back to PJ Chen Design. This is PJ. Safety pin has been using in the jewelry as a symbol to create a lot of jewelry. Today, I would like to show you how to create a safety pin in the Rhino 3D software. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, to make this pendant look making more sense is you need to have this guy is kind of a spiral going up there. They are not just like a flat piece. If you do, then it won't look realistic. It will look like it's not going to open. We are not going to open anyway, but we need to make sure that it look like it's going to be open. Hollow inside is going to help you to uh, reduce a lot of the weight. And of course, after you set a stone, you punch the hole behind the stone the stone will look brighter all right so we need to proportion it correctly to have this pin and we are going to set a B setting on top of it that's starting from a scratch I'm going to starting from the top view and we're gonna use the commands called picture and it's going to bring in any of the picture that you find that you like online and we roughly going to get something like this I would like to have this pendant able to set about 1.5 to 2 millimeter stone. So I'm going to draw something as a reference for 2 millimeter and something like this. In order for this 2 millimeter able to sit in there, I may need to have this one to be a little bit bigger. So something look like this, right? Or even bigger. So let me go like bigger you don't need to have the body so long like that we can adjust it but we need to make sure the head it's good enough for the stone to sit in so maybe just a little bit bigger like this all right so look like this is going to sit in really well all right then we need to start tracing this piece right here i'm going to um, use the conic corner on the rectangle this is called a uh, round rectangle conic corner and i'm going to draw whatever close to that size and this is the arc we need to change here on the top to be conic corner so it will go something like a puffy pillow shape once we have this let me just lock in the background it will stop moving around and i'm going to align so vertical align with those two and then i'm going to move it somewhere close to here all right for the bottom one i'm going to just drag it a little bit lower and make it a little bit wider so that will fit in there a little bit better notice that you got a kink there is because this is the degree to curve so we want to use the command for rebuild and we want to rebuild the curve and try to get something close to whatever the original point count is but you want to make sure the degree is three and let's click ok so now we have this uh, i'm going to grab it this in a little bit and notice that it's no longer have a kink right so we wanted this coming out like this and maybe the head is going to coming in a little bit so get the shape that you like um, in this case i'm going to go something similar like that on the bottom is going to be cut it off so that's all right Okay, in the middle, maybe a little bit puffier right there. All right, so that's the first step. The second step, I'm also going to draw a line right here to showing where's uh, the center of those two pieces. We are going to draw a line, simply follow the step here, but I wanna make sure my stone will fit in there. And it's kind of almost like equally on each side to the edge. I'm going to draw something look like this maybe one more click there and this might be too harsh there i'm gonna bring back something look like this all right so this is one side the other side just need to have it symmetrical so we are going to go for this guy and we're gonna mirror to the other side then we'll get something like this this is where we are going to setting the stone also one thing we want to make sure is we need to know like if our stone will arrange nicely so we got a, kind of a doing a rough guessing here that will fit in all the stone nicely there and that's fine if it, it doesn't fit well you might need to audit those uh, changing those curve to make sure it will fit 
All right. So now we are going to working on the foam. How we are going to turn this into the solid? I like them to be nice and puffy. So I'm going to come into my front view and I'm going to rotate it 90 degree, holding the shift and hit the all key. Then I will making a copy over there. As you can see, now I have a copy over there. All right. So with this one, I do not need it to be so puffy. So I'm going to going down just a little bit like this. And then maybe I wanted the head to be more rounded. It's too pointy right there. All right. If I move the control point, you're going to see that it is no longer aligned with my original one. So instead of using the control point, we want to use this uh, edit point and we want to turn on the edit point on this one. Notice that when I'm moving the edit point, this point right in the middle, it doesn't move, right? So that's the difference between moving the edit point and also the control point. Okay, so now I have this guy. I'm going to split this guy and let me hiding the, uh, the back first so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to split this guy using the split command by this curve right here. So now up and down is a separate. Again, I'm going to use this one split by this curve. So right and left, it's open as well. All right, so I've got two curve. Now I have four curve, one, two, three, four, and they are coming into the same point. All right, we're going to use the command in a surface command called loft, and we're gonna pick in order. One, two, three, four. And hit enter, then you will get a really puffy form like this. Make sure you wanna close the loft so you will be completely uh, solid and it will get something like this. Okay, now we have this, let's double, make sure it is right. Oh, for some reason, my circle going up, that's okay. It is just for reference, I'm just gonna move it down. So I'm gonna pick up this curve and this curve. All we need to do is to trim the rest of it. So then we'll get this shape right here. All right, to now this is like a one single shell and to make it into the solid, I would like to use the offset in, t in the surface. So offset surface and for whatever thickness that you want. In this case, I want a 0.7 millimeter going outside and we'll get something like this. Make sure that they are solid. Okay, to make them look nicer, this is really harsh. If you take a look on the render, it doesn't look good, right? It's a safety pin, so it's supposed to look safety, uh, it looks safe. So we wanted to giving a fitted edges. So with the command for fitted edges, I'm going to set it up for 0.2 millimeter hit enter and I want to select all the edges there right go all the way around and hit enter all right then we'll get something like this double make sure that the closed solid poly surface is checked on our property object okay so now we have something like this let's take a look on the body I'm going to turn back to the picture right here look like we have something on the bottom right here so i'm going to draw a circle to represent that piece and snapping into the end point with my smart uh, track is on i'm going to draw a circle roughly look like this okay this circle it's going to be split in the half with the point. This is the first point. This is the second point. Once you split, then you got top and the bottom, right? Let me lock this picture one more time. The bottom one that we have, it's going to uh, coming into the top right here. But first, I would like to tilt this guy a little bit. So we are going to use the rotate tool and we're going to rotate it somewhere about this high. It's up to you like how wide that you want it to have in between. And then if we like it, let's go ahead to use the blend command. We want to blend the curve in between this end and also that little tab over there. All right, so that will be our curve and 
Then the second one, think about this one, it's coming down there and it's also going to come in back to the bottom. Now we need to have another curve. So I'm going to draw an arc and snapping into the center and also the end point is on and I want to snapping into the center, making another arc going from this end and coming up to the half round. So now this guy right here, instead it will stick it on the bottom. I actually want to tilt it to the other direction. So let me go ahead to make sure I snapping into the end point. With the rotate command, I'm going to rotate it somewhere like this. So let me hide in this one right here. So now you can see it's more like a spring coming down. And this one right here need to go into the back. Uh, to the top right there and we were going to use the blend command one more time we want to blend from this end to this end all right and hit enter then we'll get something like this we can now join all of this right here this is a point you can kind of uh, rotate it if that bother you it's like a tilted but that's giving a try with the uh, pipe command first let's pipe it for the radius for 0.8 and take a look on the proportion and see if that is right it's kind of a touch in there so this is kind of a too thick so i may want it to reduce to 0.5 so this is touching but it's not like a too much of an overlapping and if it is then you might need to adjust it all right and like what i say if you feel like this is a little bit too um, tilt it for you then you can twist it back if that works for you all right so now we our safety pin is done and proportional wise i think this is too thin but it is the demo um, i'm going to have you to change that uh, the rest of it will be the b setting i've been talking about b setting in many of other my videos so i'm not gonna repeat it here i hope you like this video and that will help you on your design for your own jewelry if you enjoy my video and you want to learn more about jewelry care design check out my course in the description below that will help you to learn jewelry care much faster thank you for watching and i'll see you next